Hello everyone, welcome back again. So in today's tutorial, I'll be talking about how to deal with missing data, right, by using the drop now equivalent. So, so we have our data frame already, which we have been working with so far. So this is how it is, and then we realize that in the previous tutorials, we learned that you can replace it with or we can fill the missing values with any, right, with of the any with a specific value. So let's check for the one that are left. We have show course course was one right and then it's going to tell us that there's one here director is having still missing and then num voted one and then several of them so now let's see how to use a different method of dropping let's say a row with a missing value right this is five so if i want to drop this entire stuff one of the ways of doing it is to use a drop now right P previous packages used to call it drop missing and then the is now is also uh, is missing right so in case you are searching for it's not it's not working you can use you are using a different package older version you can just use the is missing same thing so drop remember that the drop now goes with iris not with the entire data frame so let's see an example so for example let's have a value like this like a is called to the at data micro data right then i'm going to pass in my values of one three five this is six and then let's put my any day let's put seven let's put another any then let's put ten right so if i have this value like this with these missing values and if i want to remove it from it then i can use the drop now so drop now then i put my a it's actually going to remove it for us perfectly but this is not going to change it so if i come back again and i do my a again realize that it is back as it was so this drop now is very useful for working for iris then it's not going to change the original data it's going to just create a copy and bring, bring it out to you so how do you actually remove it so one of the ways of actually removing it is to use the complete cases using the complete cases bank right complete cases bank then you pass in your data feed so if i do it like that nice so that it has dropped all our data with missing values unlike the one that we had here which had all these values here right plenty of them which are plenty now it's going to drop everyone that is having missing values which is very serious so this one can actually affect your data set so so that's that actually deleted it so if i come back and i do a df1 it is still remaining the remaining four so this is just like the drop now this thing here is just like the drop now the equivalent of drop now and then a uh, how or oh, right in python right it's just like the drop now how or oh. so it's very you should be very careful about this one using it because it's going to actually affect it actually change it right now so now it is left it only three okay. so that is one way of dropping it perfectly so thank you for watching if you have any questions or contributions so if i go back and i do show calls df1 so that there is no there there's nothing there again so everything is gone right everything is totally missing so thank you for watching if you have any questions or contribution i guess put it inside the comment section so that everybody can bless can also benefit please don't forget to subscribe stay blessed